up, you guys? We're hanging out with the Vines here. Now, I know you have a new drummer. Hamish, what happened yeah. to David, your old drummer? Um, he used to take lots of um, alcohol. <laughs> he injected it straight into his temple. Oh, that's no good. So we couldn't have that. No <laughs> if it's anywhere, it's in the buttocks. But, uh, <laughs> no, so um, we just thought, you know, so we had a big meeting and that, and, you know, we kicked him out of the band. We didn't tell him, though. Oh. And then he tried to kill me once, so that wasn't very cool, so. So he's not in the band anymore? Yeah, like, we have, like, about four different drummers, and we've got, like, two tambourine players, so we kind of wow. switch it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how's Hamish been? Has it been all right with him so he's far? He's been okay. He has been, like, snorting a lot of salt and pepper. Oh, so no. That a worry. That's illegal here in the United States. Yeah. In some states. <laughs> it's not very cold, nevertheless. You know. well, he can do it in Alaska. Now, is there a different, um, is it a different style of drumming that he's bringing to the table here? Or? I guess so. I mean... If it wasn't better, we wouldn't have him. That's right. I think because, yeah, the salt and the pepper really improve his um, style, so... As long works. as there's uh, lots of cowbell. Yeah, yeah, he's good. got a lot of cowbells. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to check out a video now. This one's from Audio Vent. Now, this band features the brothers of Incubus's Brandon Boyd and Mike Einziger. From Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris, here's The Energy. It's highly evolved is their new CD. It's out in stores. Check it out because it's really cool. And I'm not even going to try to classify it because everyone tries to classify music these days. And you know, Thank you so much. it's not emo. It's not new metal. You know, you guys listen to it for yourselves and you all decide, right? Yeah, yeah, you might yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, lots of bands are trying to sound like their album. I know when they play their live shows, and I understand you guys kind of do the opposite. What are your live shows like? Well, we don't give a care, man. We just like really, we just have fun with it, and you know, we. Sometimes it sounds like the CD, sometimes it sounds better, sometimes it sounds worse, but it's, it's always different, it's always like a spur of the moment thing, because in the studio we had a very controlled environment, so mm -hmm. it's about having fun, you know, like, and, and if that means, like, an improvised guitar solo, whatever, then so be it, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, are your shows pretty wild? I know in the video you look like you're kind of having a lot of fun there. Yeah, yeah. You guys go yeah. crazy on stage? We go crazy because we we're we already crazy when we get up there, but so it's not, it doesn't change that much. So, you know, it's fun. All right. Well, yeah. I'll have to check out your show, and all you guys should too. All right. Up now we got one from Cinch from their self titled CD, which is due out on July 30th. It's called Something More. I get 